chill for eight hours. Wait, what? Did you know it was gonna chill for eight hours? No, you picked this out. You didn't read it. No, I just thought that sounded really. Welcome to Tuesday. It's another beautiful day outside. Uh, the weather is really great. And also today is actually no housework day. So that's always a good thing. Kate's been living that life for about six years now. It is no housework day, so do, don't do any housework today. Unless said, your parents say so. And because the internet said so. Today's scripture comes from Colossians chapter three, verses 23 through 24. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. We're totally continuing that theme from yesterday, the beginning of chapter 6, talking about how we do good works for good works, not to be recognized by our peers. And again, it's kind of continuing that theme on today, right? Like that we're doing these good things to bring the glory of God. We're also talking today about how we do those good things, those good works. And it's not kind of like just what you need to do to get by. It's like you're, you're in it. You're in it for God, not just kind of the passable level. We're aiming for like that A+, plus, not for that like C+. Pass. I also like the assurance in this scripture. It doesn't say that you might receive an inheritance from the Lord. It says that you know you will receive your inheritance from the Lord. Yeah, and I, I think that's totally right. That sometimes when you're doing the Lord's work, it's it's tiring or it, it can bring you down or, or, or it's just difficult, right? And I, and I think it's really great that there's this kind of like positive aspect of that, right? That when we're doing good works for God, we'll be blessed. I also think there's plenty of opportunities now where we can do those good works for God. There's a lot of people in need, whether you're contacting them virtually or, or whether you're doing different like physical distancing measures. There's, there's just good opportunity right now to do good work for God. So that's what we really encourage you guys to do. How can you be helping your, your families, your communities to come and know the love of Christ? Guys, for today's fun slot, we are going to make worms. Yay! <laughs> it looks really gross. Here's, here's a photo of what it's going to look like. And it's going to be really great. I have no idea how much this is going to work or not work, but I believe in us. So, let's go for it. Um, step number one, in a large measuring cup, combine the jello and the unflavored gelatin. All right, so we have jello uh, packet, just raspberry jello. The instructions clearly said just one regular size packet, not large. Didn't read those well enough, so I got large and then I, I halved it. And then it's just three regular gelatin. Why is she doing that? Fun fact about there's the gelatin. three packs in it. Okay. Is it three boxes? No. Wait, there's four envelopes. It clearly Sorry, says yes, yes, four there's envelopes. Four. There's okay. a sneaky one. Yeah. Fun fact about the gelatin, we did Walmart pickup today to like save Corona. They substituted these out, so instead of getting a box of four unflavored regular gelatin packets, we got four boxes of lime jello. Which aren't pictured. I need an idea of something to do because now I own four boxes of lime jello. Let me know. Interesting approach. Individual. No. I was giving you time to stop me. You didn't seem very sure. <laughs> Step 12. We have our boiled water, but we need three cups. cups. Yep. All right, three cups. I'm gonna put it in this bowl. Have an adult help you with this. Unless you're more coordinated than your adult and they give you permission. Why is this color? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this not clean? <laughs> Uh, it was kind of <laughs> clean. It smells like raspberry. That's what I used to measure the raspberry. Uh, in a little? I don't have any word. Oh, this is broken. All, all you had to do was measure it three cups <laughs> Now I have too much water. And then you broke the kettle. It was like that. It was just resting on a top. Sure it was. And a cup. That's three. And mix the gelatin up. While you're doing that, next step, stretch each of the straws. We have straws. It suggests about 150 is in a box. Our box came with 100. Pull out stretchy part and put the stretchy part down. It says put it in the fridge for 20 minutes to chill. Or until, 20 minutes? Yeah, chill. It's a long time. Chill in the fridge for 20 minutes or until lukewarm. I was always taught that you're not supposed to put hot things in the fridge. I thought specifically glass. Right. So why don't we just put it out on the porch for a bit? 
it's hot out. We just needed to chill to get lukewarm. I think that's the limit for our cupcake. Add the green food coloring to the whipped cream and stir until combined. Just stir it, don't whip it. Such a professional organization, UK. Three quarters of a cup of whipping cream. Okay. And then 15 drops of food coloring. Whipping cream. One, two, 15. All right, then stir it until combined. Like a shamrock shake. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, man. I forgot we're missing oh, out on shamrock shakes. We, that was March. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. All right. Uh, stretch the straws, add the green, stir it, pour the whipping cream mixture into the gel mixture and stir, pour the mixture onto the straws and until it fills the container. So we gotta wait till it's cool. Or lukewarm. We have the cooled, actually lukewarm gelatin mixture that we have now. Next step. Luke, you are warm. Pour the whipping cream mixture into the jello mixture and stir until it's well combined. Go for it. Pour it on in. Oh, that looks gross. It's like a pinky, it's like a worm color. Oh man, it's as if we're making worms. Pour the mixture through the straws until it fits in the container. The straws will self level, so don't worry about filling each individual straw. How are we gonna pour this? Pause! Unpause! We transferred it into this mixture here because it was going to make an absolute mess. Pour it in. It says real slow. Are you strong enough? Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going slow. Oh. Am I strong enough? <laughs> it makes a weird noise. Uh, that was a weird sound. Yeah, we're going to go get them all. Pause. Oh, pause. <laughs> okay. I say just go all the way. All the way? Well, I mean, like, no, come on, come on. All the way? Yeah. How are you gonna walk with it? To um, the stop. But there's only a little bit. Oh, pour it in. Come on, we can do it. <laughs> no, stop, stop, really, stop, 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 stop. But Kate, that is like on the line. Wait, the next step is chill for eight hours. Wait, what? Did you know it was gonna chill for eight no, hours? No, you picked this out. You didn't read it? No, I just thought that sounded really cool and then bought the stuff. But you didn't read the instructions. No, I just figured we'll make it work. What if it asks to use something we don't have? Yeah, because I just followed the ingredients. It's 2 p.m. right now. We can show it tomorrow. Back to you in the studio. I don't really know what to say, except that was severely misjudged and I should have read ahead. But that's okay. We are going to show you tomorrow what worms in a bowl look like. Wait, everything does that. To be continued. But we can show them what our rock candy looks like. Yeah, let's far. do that. Let's so do that. For those who didn't see our video, I'll put a link in the description. But we made rock candy and it takes two weeks. Luckily, we did read that ahead of time, so we were aware. We'll show you right now. So these are mine too. The purple is mysterious. I'm not quite sure what's happening with it. The red one I'm pretty impressed with, uh, and these are Danny's. I have no idea what mine is doing. I don't know if it's good, if it's bad. I don't know if I'm going to pull it out and it's just going to be the stick and it's going to be a cup of rock candy. Yes, that is what we're very nervous about. The liquid seems very thick and we're nervous that when we pull it out, it's just all going to still be in the cup. We're just going to have a clean stick. That's our update video of stuff and hopefully we will see everybody tomorrow for our actual worms in a bowl cup. Yes, design. part two. Part two. Alright guys, bye! bye.